In the last video that I did that was referring to Christmas lights, we taught you how to set up Falcon Player. Settings, getting it loaded on the SD card, etc. Well, now we're going to take the next step and we are going to work on corrugated props. Specifically, how a wiring diagram in X lights will help you push your pixels. Stay tuned. All right, first thing we're gonna do here is fix my watch, apparently. Uh, we're gonna make the screen a bit smaller over here. We'll get my big head out of the way. There, just a tiny little head for you guys. Now we're gonna go ahead and open the X Lights folder. If I could type. So while we're waiting for that to open, so you've got your new prop, whether it be from Gilbert Engineering, Boscoyo Studios, EFL Designs, and I'll show you, there might be a couple others that are added to X-Lights now. You can't just be going and putting pixels in all willy-nilly. I mean, on this one, I suppose, technically you could, but when you get into some of the singing faces or some of the bigger designs, the people that designed the prop were actually nice enough to sit and figure out how to put the pixels in and then created the models for X-Lights. So if you don't really follow the model in X lights, it's not gonna work right. You could put them in all willy nilly, but then you have to create, it's a lot more work. You have to create your own custom prop, etc. So we're gonna come into X lights here and we are gonna look at an easy way to help you figure out where to put your pixels in your prop. So first thing I'm gonna do here is come to my layout screen and I will get this kind of centered this is a work in progress yet. This is this year's show. All right, so just to show you really quick, we're gonna go in and show you where you can download different uh, models that some of the vendors already have in here. So we're gonna go to create a new download, click on our little canvas here, and I will make this bigger and I'm gonna show you basically we got Boscoyo Studios in here. We've got Gilbert Engineering in here, EFL Designs in here, Custom Christmas Creations, Build a Light Show, and then a DMX Fixture and DMX Model Library. So basically what we would be doing is, let's go to Boscoya, let's see if I can find a singing element. Singing element, and I just got this bulb actually. So I would grab this bulb up, and I would just hit Insert Model. For some reason today it's not inserting the model. I am not sure why, but I've actually already got it in here. So our model is right here. We'll come over here, we'll zoom in on it. Nice little big singing face. One of the things, first things we wanna do is we want to go right click and go to wiring view. Now, what to keep in mind with the wiring view is you are looking at the back of the prop. So if I have my pixels and I can see my lights here, pixels are pointing out this way. What we're seeing on this view is the back side. So you're seeing the wires of the pixels. Just keep that in mind. This view here, you are seeing the front. You are actually seeing the pixels. When we go into the wiring view, we are seeing the wires or the back side. So this is handy, very handy. I like my computer in dark mode. It helps me read it a little bit better. But you can see from the back, it tells me which pixel goes everywhere. And now you can kind of see, well, it's hard to see, but we can zoom in and out. You can see why you can't just throw them in there because things get a little goofy. The first thing I like to do, and I will usually sit here with the prop if I'm pushing the pixels, I will come in with the prop, have it sitting here with a marker, and I will put a number on each hole. Then I can go sit on the couch or whatever, go sit outside on the patio, and I can push the pixels without necessarily needing this design. If we go in and we right click, we can actually export these. So if we export large, and we're just gonna drop this in the downloads folder and we will export it. 
close, we'll minimize. I will find my folder. Here is the view we actually had on the computer. Now we can print this out. Let's go back into X lights. Let's go back into our wiring diagram or our wiring view. We can change the color that this is set up in. So I, I'm in dark right now. We can change it to a grayscale. But if you're actually going to be printing it out, you probably don't want the black background. That's going to use quite a bit of ink and, well, ink's expensive. So you could go to the light. Now I hate this on the computer screen, but if we actually go through and export large, and I always export large. I What I usually do is I'm pretty lazy and I, my fingers are just so sensitive. I give this design to my sister and I have her push the pixels in. It's a good setup we have there. I do the easy work, she does the hard work. So we're gonna save this again. We'll actually save it as three. And I will close this and minimize this just so there's no confusion. There we have our three pop up. Now we can go through and we can print. And we can put all of our pixels in, in the proper order and hopefully they will work. Um, this also does create some subgroups in there. So let's just pop in and look at my Bascoyo bulb. So you'll also notice it creates the subgroups for the mouth and stuff. That's another reason why you really want to follow their wiring diagram. Otherwise you have to go through and completely rebuild this all by yourself. So as you can see, we have the base highlighted right now. We got a subgroup for the base. We've got the edge of the bulb. We've got mouth one, two, three, four, five. We've got our eyes open, closed, etc. Uh, one of the hardest ones I actually had to do, because I don't have a lot of hard stuff in my show yet, is this Rosa wreath. Now this creates a lot of different groups, a lot of sub-models, so this one was pretty hard to actually do. This one took me quite a while to go in and sit down, and this one I did myself, and I wrote on the back each one. And of course, I got to about, uh, I think it was in the 500s area somewhere. Uh, yeah, up in here. When I did it, I missed a number and when I was pushing the pixels in, it's all goofed up. Matter of fact, I have to fix that yet this year because one hole is missing a pixel. That is gonna suck, but that's what I get for not paying attention to people. That's what I wanted to show off today. The wiring view, it's a pretty important view to me and should be a very important view to everybody else. It'll help you set up your props a lot better. It'll save you some troubleshooting. It will save you headaches in the long run. Uh, this is a shorter video today. Um, I just got the idea after while I'm, I'm getting ready to go do some purchasing as soon as all the stuff from Christmas Expo makes it onto websites. So if anybody went to Christmas Expo that's watching this video, I couldn't go. I gotta live vicariously through you. So throw in the comments below, what was your favorite part of Christmas Expo? What innovation or what design or what new thing is out that you liked? Um, bonus points for posting pictures or sending me pictures. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Have fun.